Hi guys, it's Rich here from Gloucestershire College. Um, this video is going to be taking a little look at Revit, um, which is considered a BIM authoring software, building information modeling software. Um, going to take a little bit of a look at some of the basics of Revit. Um, people just starting to get into sort of BIM. Um, we'll be hearing about different softwares like Revit and Navisworks. Um, we'll, we can look at look at those kind of programs over the course of maybe a few few of these YouTube videos. Um, a term that people will sort of be quite accustomed to, or, or maybe hearing quite often, will be Revit families. So we'll try and just discuss um, briefly what they are. Uh, you can see here, so look, I've opened Revit from my desktop uh, right there and you're presented with, with this page. Um, so Revit is split very much into two areas. So you've got the projects area as you can see here um, and you've got the families area here. So your project area is your main uh, large collaborative sort of project, um, your whole sort of um, building made up of many different elements and the many different elements that your project is made up of are the individual families so um, you can have sort of all different types of families if you look from an MEP point of view you know you're going to have lighting families and, um, and from a mechanical point of view you're going to have sort of mechanical families you know return air grills or supply air grills um, you know within plumbing you're going to have plumbing families whether that be taps or you know fixtures or fittings or whatever you know the toilets the the urinals um, all the individual pieces I, I like to imagine Revit as it's more of a Lego sort of set really um, I, I've been working with AutoCAD for a long time and I thought the transition from AutoCAD into Revit I thought Revit was just going to be a 3D version, you know, of, of AutoCAD Lite or just a very similar version of regular full 3D AutoCAD. Uh, but that's not the case. Um, when, when you're entering into the projects sort of area of Revit, it's very much like piecing together ready-built pieces that you have built in the family editor. So you build your blocks in the family editor, um, your pieces, and then you insert them as a whole into the projects area. Um, so look, let's go ahead and, and open a project. So I've, I've got a little uh, setup here of a, of a small small kitchen. So look, you, I've opened uh, a small project here, uh, a kitchen that I've been working on. Um, I think it might be a little bit easier if I hide the ceiling. So look, I mean, look, this is what what Revit's all about is it's actually sort of recognizing the individual building blocks for what they are. So I've clicked on that ceiling there now and, and you can see over here on the left in what they call the, the properties um, dialog sort of box uh, it's, it's recognizing that as a basic ceiling and that's different to, to if you're familiar with AutoCAD and layers where you sort of you decide a category or name for an individual um, element it's different to that, it's more intelligent than that and it's giving me information, okay, it's giving me information about where it's offset from the ground because it recognises where the ground is. Um, it's giving me area and perimeter and, and different things. Um, it might even tell me about the materials, I'm not sure. I think because I've used a, a basic um, type, it's not giving me so much information. But you can see there, family. It's a systems family, so that that's that's a that's what sort of family is. It's it's a piece, it's a piece of the puzzle that's going in into your project. Um, but if I hide that in view, see I can hide by category, which would hide like all ceilings. If if there was m many different ceilings, if it was a multi-story project, but um, or you can hide individual parts, so hide ele elements, so. I'm going to go ahead and hide that and we can take a little look into the kitchen and, and it's made up of different family members so if I click on the window here it's telling, it's giving me information about that, it's telling me about the size of that, it's telling me um, all sorts of things there um, and if I click on that there it, it might give me the option to change to different kinds of window 
so look this this is where different families can be in a group and so if if I'm selecting uh, it's currently at 1810 by 1210 if I select a smaller version it will jump to that size it will ping to that size just give it a second there you see that so it's it's gone that that little window family has um, changed to the size that I've selected and because Revit recognizes that what the window is in is a wall the wall will move with the window okay because it's intelligent it's it's not like AutoCAD um, if I was to delete that window then you'll see that there won't be a hole left in the wall the wall will sort of be full and solid again uh, if I just go back there and bring it back um, you know so so that's sort of this is the project area of where you actually sort of put things together and actually start building and constructing um, I can introduce you to the idea of in, inserting sort of my own families now um, so if I if I unhide that ceiling that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to bring in some um, mechanical families some sort of uh, air sort of ducting bits and pieces uh, I'll bring them in from the family editor part and, I, and I'll insert them into the project so let me unhide a new element and that will give me my ceiling back um, so if you want to open and insert a family piece you can go to open and it'll ask you do you want to open a project or do you want to open a Revit family piece so let's go with that and then you go to where your family is saved your your family file wherever you wherever you saved it yeah um, let me take a thing where's my documents go for a return air terminal this is something that I made from scratch myself in, in Revit family family editor we'll, we'll do another sort of video for actually creating families from scratch but at the moment we'll just show you how to insert your family pieces and Revit will come with um, you know it will come with family pieces ready to go so I'm going to open that now okay so I've opened my return air terminal um, and you'll notice at the top that it's .rfa so that's a Revit family file so um, you know it's it's open my little air terminal that I created from scratch um, we can take a little look at it in 3D yeah so quite basic just a nice basic shape there um, and this is what they call a parametric family so I've created it so that um, I can actually change the dimensions um, simply and quickly um, I'll just try and show you let's take a look my tile and there's my project there it's on the right there I can tile the view so I can see multiple things and multiple projects at the same time So I can change this kind of thing. Um, I change that that uh, dimension there to say three hundred. Then my model is going to start to change size, so I can change that to say six hundred. Yeah, so it's parametric and and it can be changed easily. Uh, let's try and take it back to its original size so what I do now is if you take a look up here at the top of my screen uh, I can load into project and because I've got my project open that project file that little kitchen um, I can I can choose to load into that uh, if I've got multiple projects open it'll ask me which project I want to load it into but because I've only got one project open um, it, it 
it's going to go ahead and load that straight into there so I can pop that somewhere in my project for now let's just place it there um, move it into an appropriate position So I've, I've actually got my, my little supply, uh, sorry, return air terminal in my project. Um, and let's just say we're going to place it there, yeah? Yeah, okay, so you can see it there. It's, it's on top, on the outside of my the ceiling in my kitchen. I click on it and it's going to tell me over here that it's the return air terminal um, and that's my little family element that I've brought into the project so let's take another look at way another way of inserting a family I can go to insert here at the top and I can click on load family and again these are these are all the families that come built in with with Revit so you've got doors, ducting, detail items, fire protection, all sorts, but let me go for another one of my own created ones, documents. Let's put a supply air terminal in. And you'll notice now that it's not, uh, it's not giving me the option to just insert it straight in there. Um, what I've got to do is, is I've got to sort of insert it manually. So you come down to the project browser, which is basically it gives you a choice of views um, so I could I can select what view I want to see you know I can I can select a floor plan and it will give me uh, a floor plan of my 3d model um, and other 3d views uh, sections if I've set them walkthroughs as well virtual walkthroughs so I made a, a virtual walkthrough there um, but what you want to come down to is families which might be closed like that and you just need to say click the plus um, and you have a list of all the families options that are loaded in this project uh, and because I loaded in air terminals just there you can see that, that I've got that option and I'm going to go ahead and select my supply air terminal I just drag it straight in and let's place it just there bring it up to the ceiling okay so I've got two sort of air terminals there um, click on one it's telling me that it's return click on the other it's telling me that it's supply. If I hold down control and click, it'll select both of them and it'll say multiple families selected and it'll tell me that there's two, two uh, devices from the air terminals family because they're from the same family. Now what happens when they're from the same family? If I click on supply air terminal here and you can see up here it's telling me supply, it'll give me a list of other things within that family. Turn. So look, you know, it, it's telling me that th I've clicked on a return uh, air terminal and that's what I've got selected, but I could easily change it to a supply if I wanted. Um, and obviously that didn't change shape because they're the sh same shape, but now that's telling me that that's a supply terminal, that's a supply terminal, and if I hold down control and add them both, it's telling me that they're both supply terminals now. Um, and that I've got two, obviously still two of the air terminal family selected. I can change them both to um, return if I want it. Okay, I could go. I could. I've got them both selected, and I could click return, and now they return turn uh, air terminals. So you can see how quickly it would be to amend a drawing if somebody made a mistake and put all the supply terminals in, uh, and they've done that incorrectly. 
you could select one yeah return return air if say that you put them all in as return air and that was incorrect and you needed to change them all to supply I'll click one I would right click and I would go, go uh, select all instances either visible in view or entire project it'll select both of those instances that's what it's called when it's on its own it's called an instance and then I could change them all in one go to supply simple as that um, and that's basic the basics of inserting a a a family piece into um, a Revit project. You're likely to encounter a lot of difficulties doing that. Um, in, in some cases it's not as straightforward as it seems but hopefully in future videos we'll try and cover um, different issues that you can encounter and ways to get around that kind of thing but that was just a very basic overview of how to uh, the difference sort of between the project uh, area of Revit and the family editor part and how to uh, put your family pieces into a project.